Have you ever wanted to use your old and slow tablet as a secondary display or even to game on it? Here's the tutorial you need for that. Let's get straight into it. First of all, you need a tablet. Seems reasonable, right? It can be literally every Android tablet. You just need to be able to power on and download an app. Once you've checked that it works, you need to install Spacedesk. You will find the link in the video description so you don't even need to look for it by yourself. You're welcome. You now need to install the same exact app on your PC. I've already done that. Once again, link in the description. We're already almost set. Check that both your PC and your tablet are connected to the same Wi-Fi and you should be able to open Space Desk on your tablet, click the name of your PC and boom, Windows will automatically recognize it as an external display. Why would you want a shitty tablet as a second display? First of all, you can use it as a media center, basically. If you want to only see your Discord chat or control Spotify without having to halt up every time you want to skip a song, just like this. No, I don't like it. No, again, another one. Just like this, without having to touch your PC, you can do it. As an added bonus, since <laughs> your tablet as a touch screen, you don't even need to move your mouse if you want to quickly skip a track or ban from your server the annoying mate that screams in the microphone. Pretty good, am I right? But there's an hidden feature you can use your tablet for. And that's gaming. Who wouldn't like to play on a 720p 30Hz monitor? I certainly would love to. Let's try this. This is tremendous. Like the 30 Hz switching from 144 Hz to 30 Hz is just disgusting. <laughs> also the input lag, you can definitely feel it. Oh god. My aim. I can't even see that well cuz it's a 7 inch monitor so you know. Oh, thanks lord. <laughs> I'm done with this shit. No, I'm not talking about high-end games, even though with a decent display like 1080p 60 years, you could easily do that as well. But even with my shitty Asus Memopad 7 from like 10 years ago, if you want to emulate a Pokemon game or a vintage game, or really anything that won't make you sick because of the 30 Hz, you can do it and play comfortably from your couch, your sofa or whatever you want since the connection is Wi-Fi based. So, as long as your Wi-Fi is in reach, you're good to go. But there's another major area where you can benefit from this secondary display to make your build unique. Have you seen those fancy monitors inside some high-end PCs where are shown temperatures, RPMs, core frequencies and so on? Or just an anime girl for some reason? <laughs> Those monitors range between 50 to 70 euros, depending on the model and the inches, of course. But if you have an old tablet, or even if you have to buy it, you can find them for as little as 30 euros used on eBay or on Craigslist. You can do that as well. You just need to place it inside your PC, especially if you place it right in front of your PSU, where there's usually a window on your case. You can sneak that in and you're good to go. You just need to connect the tablet to the power so that you don't care about the battery running out. Even though I would recommend removing the frame and only leaving the display, the motherboard and the battery. That's what I was trying to do when I broke the glass of my tablet for the second time. <laughs> Remember to always eat up the adhesive before removing the glass from your display. If you've liked this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel because I'm going to bring a ton more videos like this one of DIY projects for your PC or your setup in general. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!